Today, we're going to balance the equation of CO2 gas, which is carbon dioxide, plus CaSiO3, solid, plus water, H2O, liquid. And when those three things come together, they will produce SiO2, and then plus CaHCO3, 2. I already wrote us a chart and all the elements that I see that are on the reactants and the products, aka the left and the right sides. So all we have to do is just label how many we have of each, and then we'll get to balancing. Let's start from the left and go to the right. So in this case, for carbon, right, I have just one carbon. There was no subscript here. So I'll put a one here. For oxygen, we just have to be careful, guys, because on the left side of the yield sign, I have oxygen oxygen, and oxygen. So I have to add, literally, there's an addition sign. I have to add all three of those oxygens here, right? So I have two oxygens plus three oxygens plus one oxygen because there is no subscript. So two plus three plus one, five plus one is a total of six, right? So I have six total oxygen on my left-hand side. Calcium, we're getting now easier because there's only one calcium, no subscript here. And for the silicon, Si, right, there's no subscript, so one. So I have one silicon. And then for the hydrogen, which is the H, there was a two next door, so I have two hydrogen. Now let's just count how many we have on the left-hand side. I have a, oh, not the left-hand side, the right-hand side, right? I have a silicon, right, and I have one of them because there was no subscript, so one SI down here. The oxygen, oxygens are in two different places, so I have to add them together. There was two oxygen coming from here, plus there was three oxygens here, but that's being multiplied by two. So three times two is a total of six. Two plus six is eight. So I actually have eight total oxygens on my product side. So put an eight here. For the calcium, I just have one. There was no subscript there, so one. For the hydrogen, there was one inside here, but there's two here, so one times two, I now have a total of two hydrogen. And then for the carbon, the same thing for the hydrogen. There was one, but there's a two outside here, so one times two is two carbons. Okay, now try to balance the ones that, you know, are easy to balance. Looks like to me that I can easily balance the carbon, right? We try to balance by multiplication. One times what will get me to two, right? You always go from the lower number to the higher number. So one times two will get me to two. And that number that you stated is the coefficient that goes in the front. So I'm gonna put a two here. So that number is gonna change, right? There's two carbons here. So this cancels to a two. But you gotta be fair, if you put a coefficient in front of a compound, that two gets distributed to all of the elements. So you have to change the carbon number, which we did, and we have to change the oxygen number. So now let's just figure out how many total oxygens we have. I have two times two oxygens, so that's a total of four, plus, so plus, there was oxygen here, three of them, plus, so plus, and there was a lonely oxygen here, right? One of them. So four plus three plus one, seven plus one is eight. So I'm not gonna say we have six oxygens anymore, we have eight. And if you look at that, all of the numbers are balanced, right? Two carbons, eight oxygens, one calcium, one silicon, and two hydrogen. So by just balancing one thing, we balanced, you know, multiple elements. And this is now our balanced equation. For every two CO2s, I have one CaSiO3 plus one H2O, which will produce one SiO2, and one CaHCO3 2. That's it, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully this helped. Give this video a thumbs up if it did help you. And if you want to help us out, press the subscribe button. That will help us out so much. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Let's keep rocking and rolling. All right, let's, you know, keep studying. And good luck on your future tests or quizzes. See you later.